Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how, how to easily delete a theme in WordPress. So we are going to do a little bit of reading and then we are going to go to the admin area and I'm going to show you how to do it. Deleting inactive themes is a good habit since themes and other software can make your, your website more vulnerable to security threats. This is because the software gives hackers more opportunities to exploit and infiltrate your website. Additionally, inactive themes still store files in your database, taking up space. This can make your hosting plan more expensive and slow down your website's performance by bloating its database. There are four ways to deactivate and delete a theme in WordPress. I am going to show you the easiest, which is remove a theme using the admin dashboard. Before even thinking about deleting WordPress themes, it's best to make a backup of your entire website. A good hosting company automatically backs up all your site files, database tables, and WooCommerce data at least once every 24 hours. Plus, you can restore your website from any location, even if you can't access your dashboard. Should your hosting plan not include backup, you can use an excellent plugin, Jetpack Vault, uh, Vault Press Backup. So let, if you click on that hyperlink, this page is going to open up. And uh, the best real-time WordPress backup plugin, this is from Jetpack. I have used this, plug uh, this plugin on a number of my websites for a number of years. And this is high, high quality, a very effective, very effective plugin. I haven't used it in, uh, in about 18 months. Reason is that my hosting company does a backup every 24 hours on my websites and this is free of charge i don't have to pay anything for that backing up all right so now let's have a look at lawn's website this is uh, quite a new website and lawn is doing a lot of great work so let's have a look at is uh, admin area and you go to appearance if you hover over appearance this drop down is going to display in this particular case, I am already there. So appearance, themes, you click on themes and the themes page opens. Okay. I, uh, in fact, I have already deleted a number of, of themes that Lorn had. There's only one left here. Actually, I'm going to quickly add one. So let's just add a, a new theme. Right, and uh, so let's go, you know, it can be anyone. So I am going to click on uh, 2017. Let's do that. Installing, just waiting a, a few moments. Okay, but I am not going to activate. I just installed it and uh, I am going to go to themes again. Let's just go to this page. All right. So you can see that now Lorne has one active theme, which is the Astra theme, and he has two unused themes, 2017 and 2024. It is recommended that besides your active theme, you keep one unused theme, just in case something goes wrong with your active theme. So WordPress will be able to go uh, and, and use the unused theme, but you only need one. You, you don't need two or three or four, all right? So what we're going to do is we are going to keep 2024 as unused theme, and we are going to delete 2017. To do that is very easy. You just hover over the theme, left click, the page opens and all you have to do is click on the delete button here uh, uh, on the bottom of this particular page. So you click delete button. It asks, um, are you sure you want to delete this theme? Okay, and we say, okay, yes, we are sure, deleting. And the theme is now gone as easy as that. Ladies and gentlemen, if this video was helpful, would you please give it a thumbs up? 
and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Cheers.